Today we have a great show for you. With stories that range from coffee and donuts to sports and Halloween. That sounds good, but before we start, let's roll that intro. Hey Michael, do you like coffee? No, not really. I think that this might change your mind. How? We sent Sean and Liam down to Bird Rock Coffee to showcase the great coffee and other morning treats that they have. Hey Coyotes, today Liam and I went down to Bird Rock Coffee Roasters in Bressy Ranch. Let's check it out. At Bird Rock, they have a variety of coffees, syrups, pastries, and more. Bird Rock Mint is different from other coffee places because it's a heavy focus on the coffee rather than aesthetic, vibe, or whatever it may be. So it's coffee first, customers, um, yeah. Bird Rock opened in 2001 in La Jolla and this specific location opened about three years ago. My favorite part about working here has to be the customers. So Bird Rock and Bressy Ranch were open from 7 to 4 p.m. every single day. Uh, come on down, we'll make some coffee. Now sending it back to the anchors. Did that change your mind, Michael? Yeah, that looked great. You know what else is great? What? Christmas! We sent a part of our broadcasting team down to ask students what their favorite holiday is. So what's your favorite holiday and why? My favorite holiday is Christmas because I love hanging out with my family. My favorite holiday is Christmas and because I love winter. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's the only holiday that is only about food. Food, friends, and family. My three favorite things. My favorite holiday is Christmas because it's close to my birthday. Christmas because you get presents. So what's your favorite holiday and why? Uh, Halloween because I like to dress up. Uh, Christmas because we get to have the Christmas. Uh, Christmas because same thing. Christmas because I like presents. Halloween because I like the spooky stuff. What's your favorite holiday, Michael? I personally like Christmas, guy. You know what goes great with an early Christmas morning? Donuts. Hey, Coyotes. Today, Nixon and I went down to Super Donuts to check it out. Super Donuts has a wide variety of donuts to choose from, so there's always a perfect donut for you. Let's learn a little bit more about the workers. All right, my name is Sarah T. I work in the donut shop for 42 years and in Geneva for 29 years. Making donuts must be hard. Let's see which one is the hardest to make. All right, the hardest one is the French crawler. It's more expensive and take more time. You must be prepared every day so you don't run out of donuts. This means you have to make them all night long. Okay, uh, I start making Monday to Thursday, like one o'clock in the morning. And on the weekend, we start around 11.30 or 12 o'clock. When having a wide variety of donuts, everyone has their personal favorites. Let's see which donut each person likes. All right, in adult, they like apple fritter, cinnamon roll, teenager, they like, like chocolate bar, maple mm. bar, or twist. Little one, they like sprinkle. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Coyotes. Next time you're in the area, I highly recommend going here. Now sending it back to the anchors. Those donuts filled me up. Why don't we talk some sports to burn those calories? Kai and I went to ask some students questions about their favorite athletes. 
This is Kai reporting for CMS TV. Today we went around campus asking students questions about sport. Let's check out what they had to say. So who's your favorite athlete? Max Curry. So who's your favorite athlete? Satchel Paige. So who's your favorite athlete? Lionel Messi. Who's your favorite athlete? Drew your say out. So who's your favorite athlete? Devontae So who's your favorite athlete? I'm a Tatis fan. So who's your favorite athlete? Mike Trout. So what's your favorite sports team? Probably the Green Bay Packers. So who's your favorite athlete? Kobe Bryant. So who's your favorite athlete? Uh, Julian Edelman on the Patriots. So who's your favorite sports team? Well, I like the Chargers and Kansas City, but I'll go with Kansas City. So who do you think is going to win the World Series? The Rangers. So what's your favorite sports team? San Jose Sharks. This is Kai reporting for CMS TV, sending it back to the anchors. All that sports talk got me dehydrated. You know what will refill you? What? A nice cold smoothie. That's perfect because Harlan went down to Beach City Smoothies to check it out. What's up, Coyotes? Today, I went down to Beach City Smoothies in the village to see what it's all about. Beach City Smoothies is an incredibly popular smoothie store in the village that has been around for years. And being one of the only smoothie stores in Carlsbad, you could say it's the best around. They have a wide variety of items on their menu. From smoothies to acai bowls and even gourmet pretzels, Beach City Smoothies has everything there is to offer. As a tradition, they've taken photos every year since their opening in 2006, and the photos mark as great memories for both the staff and the customers that have visited in the past. staff are both incredibly welcoming and incredibly friendly, so anyone who comes in is sure to have a great time. This is Harlan Bohodor signing off with refreshing vibes from Beach City Smoothies, sending it back to the anchors. That smoothie looks great. Yeah. Michael, did you go to the Halloween social last Friday? No, I didn't. Well, I heard it was really fun, and we sent one of our broadcast members to see what it was all about. Hey, Coyotes. I went down to the Halloween social here at Calavera Hills Middle. So what do you like about the haunted house? The lights were really trippy, and I had a good time in there with my friends. And are you going to do an extra? Probably. What are your favorite games? I like the, the, the like the dart soccer thing and yeah. And uh are you gonna do it next year? Most definitely. Before we go, we have a couple of announcements. There is a cornhole tournament coming up next week. Also, next Friday we are recognizing Veterans Day, so there will not be school. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Coyotes. See you next week.